Hey guys, thanks for watching. Well, in my last video, the Canik TTI Combat must have accessory video, I talk about these two accessories that I absolutely feel is a must have for your Canik TTI Combat. I also made mention that I was looking for a holster that would accommodate this setup. Today, I wanna to share with you the holster that I have found that is my absolute personal favorite for this particular setup. I'm also gonna share with you two other holsters that are a little more economical friendly just in case you want some other options as well and just for a quick safety check we will see that our weapon is unloaded oh and uh, no one sent me any holsters none of these are paid endorsements uh, I purchased these all myself and these are just my opinions on the ones that I liked now with the holster I'm about to talk about, I wear it using a bare arms battle belt. This is a size small. I won't go into battle belts or war belts as they're called, but they really help to bear the weight of your pistol and it just gives you a lot more stability and draw position. So I'll leave a link in the description if you also want to check out the bare arms battle belt as well. All right, so here it is. This is my personal favorite. This is the Orpaz T40X. Now, this is the drop leg configuration, so this is gonna cost about $150, but it also comes with the paddle attachment. So you also have that as a carry option if you want. But you can just purchase the just the T40X with the paddle attachment configuration for about $110. Uh, and you can actually get a low ride belt attachment configuration for about $130. Now this holster is made of a very lightweight polymer. It is very durable. Uh, you can adjust the pistol so there is absolutely no play in here at all. It is very snug and it is not going anywhere. I like the two adjustable leg straps that they have. They've got the elastic with a little bit of that uh, rubbery feel, so it really feels like some great comfort and stability. Now, this is also a level two retention holster. So it has a thumb lock and a release button uh, for additional security. So it's not gonna go anywhere. You can press that to release it, but it's also got magnetic retention in there. So it's at the end of the barrel. So it's not gonna go anywhere either until you pull it out, but it's a very easy draw to pull it out and to snap it back. Now this holster is designed to accommodate a reflex sight and it is specifically compatible to the Streamlight weapon lights. In my case, the TLR1 HL. Now I do wanna mention one little modification that I made. It is simply unscrewing this weapon light mount part right here. You take this area out. There's a small little bracket there where your weapon light uh, rests against. Uh, for my setup, uh, it is not needed for the pistol and when you take the little bracket out and then put this part back in the weapon just seats in there a lot better so for me that's what I did. So here we are a close-up of the Orpaz T40X. Uh, again it is incredibly durable it's very lightweight you bring these two parts in to adjust to the perfect fit for your firearm. This is the level two retention. This will snap right on top to keep your firearm inside there. And then it's simply pressing that button to release it. Of course, the additional retention is this right here. This magnet holds the weapon in so perfectly. This is a fantastic holster. And this is the Orpaz box that it comes in. Again, I've got the drop leg configuration, but when you get that, it does come with the paddle attachment inside the box. Again, there's three different models, but this particular configuration for the TTI Combat with a reflex sight and a weapon light is the T40X. Now again, the Orpaz T40 series holsters are not cheap, ranging from $110 to $150. For me, I simply thought the investment was worth it for all the time and money that I have put into my Canik TTI Combat, but there are some also really good options that are a lot more economical. And one of them is this. This is a Rabray model E0-DL. This is a $30 universal drop leg holster and it fits a variety of 911 style firearms. It's made of nylon. It's got these adjustable Velcro straps right here. So you can put pretty much whatever weapon that you've got in here and just cinch it up to have a really good snug fit. 
Um, I like that I can adjust the ride height of the holster on this. I like that it's got these two adjustable leg straps. Uh, so it's really comfortable and it's got great stability as well. So this is a, also a really good option for just $30. Now I do want to mention one other holster that I did uh, try out with this setup and that's the Black Hawk Omnivore holster, specifically the 419002 BBR model number. They're around $65. I got one in and my setup did work with it. I just felt like the firearm was just a little loose inside of it. Nothing bad, crazy. Uh, it just wasn't the fit that I was looking for. But I did want to mention it because I've seen people using it with the TTI Combat and Black Hoff makes some really good stuff. All right, well, I hope you all have gotten some good holster option information out of this video. Again, I just wear them around for target shooting, but I like to feel like I'd also be good to go if there was a zombie slash shtf situation as well so again i just want to thank you for watching and as always i will see you next time